haven't played FIFA in like a month and a half, two months. I'll be playing FIFA. We'll be grinding FIFA again come FIFA 20. The second the FIFA 20 demo comes out, we're full level grinding again. I know I'm going to take a big viewer hit. My YouTube channel has been dead for the last two, three months because I haven't been doing FIFA videos. Uh, the streams have probably been on 50 to 60 to 70 to 80% less views because I'm not doing FIFA. Um, but I just want to be selfish. It's the summer of me just enjoying myself. And I mean, I know I'm bitching and moaning on, uh, on Fortnite right now. But uh, I just want to do what I want to do. And then once FIFA 20, the demo drops, we're going to start grinding the game just to get a feel for just the basic new concepts. Obviously, the demo is going to be totally different than the launch of the game. And then even even then, it's going to be even different than Ultimate Team and whatever. But just to get an idea, learn the like shooting, the free kick mechanics, the, um, the custom tactics, really start to understand what is a good custom tactic, what isn't. The second the FIFA 20 demo launches, we're doing like at least four hours a day of the demo, at least. Maybe more. Not playing FIFA 19 is the direct e proportional excitement you'll feel for FIFA 20. Yeah, exactly. Dude, you, you have no idea how hyped I am for, um, for FIFA 20, dudes. I'm so fucking ready. Nick, you inspired me to not spend money to this shit game. Uh, Tapilius, it's not about not spending money on this game. I'm hoping I inspire you guys to be responsible in this game. Whether you don't spend money... Whether you play the game in terms of a road to glory, I, I hope to inspire you guys to be responsible. If you want the extreme of what happens on a FUD account, you watch my channel for the grinding and you watch my channel, let's say, for the FIFA points or whatever. But more importantly, I want you guys to say you inspired me to not dump eight hours a day onto an account when I've got school, I've got work, I've got this, I, you know, I'll, I watch your content while I'm doing other stuff, whatever. I dabble a little bit here and there while I'm doing other stuff. Same thing. You inspired me to be responsible with my spending habits. I'm not now dumping a hundred dollars a month or whatever on FIFA points when I'm a student and I'm using my fucking like uh, chores money and shit like that. That's, that's the level uh, that we want to get up, dudes. We don't want to be just the ignorant types. And here, even in the last five years running a road to glory, when someone's like, yeah, man, you inspire me not to spend money. This game's dog shit. It's not about that. It's about being responsible. Spending 10 hours a day on a road to glory, but not spending money is just as irresponsible and just as dumb. Unless this is your job or unless you are a pro player or aspiring to be a pro player. Those are the only real two excuses to do that, to either spend a lot of money or a lot of time on the game. If this is either your job for content or as a pro. That's the conversation that we, we should be having. Exactly why I ain't buying FIFA 20. Can't afford to be putting two hours a day into FIFA like I did for a lot of days this year. See, I don't, I mean, realistically though, depending on what you got going on in your life, how bad is two hours, a, two hours a day seems reasonable. Two hours a day for your own time, for your selfish entertainment needs, whether it's two hours a day in front of a TV or two hours a day on Fortnite or two hours a day on FIFA. I don't, I don't find that. I would say two to three hours a day, I would say is responsible for, for really anybody. I mean, if you are not giving yourself two to three hours a day, this is again, the other extreme. If you're not giving yourself two to three hours a day to unwind, to de-stress from work, parent life, school life, kid life whatever it is you probably should reconsider as well genuinely you're gonna burn yourself out as well dude i went through certain college years too where i was working like 16 hours a day on my college courses and it burnt me the fuck out so again it's all balanced dudes in every part of your life that's all that's what we want to that's what we want to get across here on this channel i, I don't want to i don't want to see my viewers spending 12 hours a day on Fortnite. i mean okay if it's the summer months right now and you're out of school and your parents don't give a fuck enjoy your summer i'm not gonna lie dude back when i was in high school in the summer i did have a part-time job but a lot of the times when i wasn't working i was playing rainbow six rogue spear with my buddies online you know i was playing fifa with my cousins at their house we were playing gran turismo one doing 12 hour races like you know again it's it's not all just cut and dry depending on the time of year, depending on your life, depending on your job. There's a million things. It's just, I want you guys to have a balanced life, whatever that means for you. Uh, it's difficult for me. I have an 18 month old. And by the time we finish eating with the wife, it's difficult for me to stay. Now uh, I'm off to play FIFA. So my free time is spent with her until she goes to bed. Then it may be an hour or two, takes lots of juggling. Exactly, Phil. And, and that's the key. That is exactly the key. The key is for you not to be like, all right, you, you have fun putting the kids to bed. I, I've got to get my two hours of FIFA in. The amount of 
life problems you're going to go into if you're irresponsible with your overall life in general in that regard is 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 so 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 untalked about in the fifa community by ea by most other content creators in general right i can't tell you how many people tweet me maybe not on a daily basis but how regularly people tweet me saying dude i had to stop fifa it was fucking my life up playing champs was ruining my my relationships with other people i had uncontrollable anger as well that other people didn't understand and then they would get mad at me then they would take it out on me um, I, I spent a ridiculous amount of time on a poor man road to glory that took away from all of my life and I was doing bad in school or wasn't paying attention at work or I spent again like uh, I, I spent half of my college um, uh, and, and you're gonna laugh at this and not believe this plenty of people do this by the way Atani's admitted to doing this as well in the past but half of people's college uh, what do you call that the loans student loans on fucking FIFA points so there's so many numbers of irresponsible ways to go about things and 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 the hope is that um we can all control our um uh our our addictions right um and again if you want that that outlay that um that release of 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 seeing packs being opened i mean that is genuinely what content creators are for I know it's a bit hypocritical to some people that don't want to accept the truth, but let me do that type of stuff just makes it safer for you. Now, there's plenty of ways for you get you to get your pack opening addictions in too, whether it's bronze packs or the weekly packs that EA provide through a little bit of grinding. You can do all of that stuff as well. And again, there's nothing wrong with opening a little bit of packs here and there. It's again, balance. That's all. Spent a thousand pounds the day I got my student loan on FIFA points. Not proud of it. Well, Josh, uh, you know, at least you're able to admit it and, and not deny it, right? I spent like four to five hundred dollars on my loan this year on FIFA points. Hate myself for it. You see, I, I I know that it is such a common thing, man. Because you feel like people feel like ah, that's not you know that's not money I need to worry about right now. This year I got to the point that after I raged at champs and shit, I was looking at myself thinking, why are you acting like a dickhead? Uh, so just to not buy FIFA twenty. Well, but again, see. <sighs> You don't have to go to extremes of everything. Again, yeah. Instead, work on yourself. And I, tr dude, I'm there with you. How many streams do I end saying, "Dudes, I'm sorry, man. This game just turns me into Satan." I apologize for letting you guys down. Let myself down. I got actually more angry because I'm angry and ruining the streaming. I've I've been there, and I'm continuously there. I I go through that on a on a regular regular basis, my dude. Um, that that level of rage. Uh, that level of, uh, of irritation but to stop yourself outright from having fun or doing something you really enjoy I would say no maybe it would be smart to not to cut out the things that cause major rage so fut champs you know playing in the menus doing something uh, to me there's nothing quite as exciting and fun as playing in the menus now if you need that release and that experience of all those things you've worked to towards and play towards and you're like oh well there's no point then if i'm not going to play the game well you can you can go play squad battles you can organize games against your friends um and then if you're the type of person that's like well that's not competitive enough well then you can maybe go into online singles or you can organize games with the subs in the discord that we have competitive games if you want but that doesn't get you to that level of rage that fut champs does or division rivals does there's so many routes and ways to enjoy fifa 20 coming forward or going forward um that the life balance right that that scale is is what it's all about man fifa points and time spent on the road to glory versus your overall happiness and 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 success is is what's key um and and i think that's absolutely something that we need to talk about mental health can be affected by video games dude i mean fifa absolutely can cause major 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 issues with how stressful and uh stress built the game is for sure I'll be watching you and that'll be my connection to FIFA 20. I'm excited to see you grind. And again, when that's exactly why I'm excited to do the like squad builders and player reviews, but I, I want my community to experience it, right? I, I, I don't want to push you guys away from a poor man road to glory or from a money account. Again, these topics are just to, to keep it fresh in your mind. So if you find yourself falling down that rabbit hole of addiction, whether it's addicted to spending infinite time on FIFA or whether it's addicted to spending a lot of money on FIFA, that you can be like, oh yeah, no shit. That's, you know what? Nick has a point. I can feel myself doing this. Whatever one, whatever the topic is, let me just step away. 
you know and and i gotta start even even if you and a lot of people will turn their nose up at this or laugh at this reddit will make posts about this saying you know i'm a nerd for talking about this shit but genuinely for the young guys out there the young adults or teenagers or whatever putting a timer is unbelievably effective man um you know just putting like a, a two hour timer start it start the two hour timer there's your two hours to enjoy and grind fifa and and, and whatever even as an adult there's nothing wrong with putting limitations with yourself and being your own parent, if you will, and being your own guardian, if, if you will. I think it would be um, very smart. I did both. I spent lots of time and lots of money on the game. I mean, well, Josh, here's hoping FIFA 20, you can keep things a little bit more balanced. All it really takes is discipline. Exactly. And that's not a bad thing. We all need to work on our discipline. For God's sakes, the, the biggest discipline that I need to work on is working out and eating healthy. I'm lucky enough that I can grind and and really grind streaming and that ends up being my job. Like being addicted to, to pushing out content and doing that type of stuff daily, eight to 12 hours a day. Lucky enough for me that that level of grind ends up being my job. But before I started streaming and stuff like that, dudes, with FIFA and, and I, I, cause back then I was in college and stuff like that. Like I had to also limit myself with the time I spent and the money I spent too. Because even though I had a job and things were going all right and I was doing school and I, you still have to be responsible. There's no way I was finishing exams and studying for exams and finishing projects and paying for school. I was sitting there doing um, doing a crazy amount of of uh, of Nep completely sidetracked my brain. Of course he did, um, but completely sidetracked me. What what, what was I saying? Nep, you, few... you sidetracked me, dude. I was talking we about FIFA a... and work-life balance. I don't Ooh. care, dude. dude. I care. Uh, if, if you exclude 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 games in a row where I only got one kill, yeah. I just got nine kills in the last two games. You're sick, dude. You're just the sickest. Thanks, man. You're the sickest guy. In arenas. Yeah, but you're playing against bots, dude. You're like no, in Division no, no. 1. No, no. First of all, I'm in Division 2. Second of all, the matchmaking is broken. So you're playing against anyone. Whatever, dude. No, not whatever, dude. They t my chat told me. Yeah, your chat's trying to make you feel better. Your chat's nice. No, they're not. Dude, they are. look at the level of people that I'm coming up against in Division 1. Yeah, they're bots. Bots know how to build. No, I'm, they're I'm not bots. Dude. I 1v1 to 7-year-old, dude, and he built into the sky before I even put two ramps up. Yeah, that's because he's sick of the game, dude. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Okay. Thanks for your input on work-life balance, dude. I really appreciate that. Uh, workloads. Don't enjoy your life. And that's that's it. That's no, no. But serious, all I all I was saying is like where because people are again shit talking like spending money on FIFA, and I'm like it's not black and white. It's balance. You can spend a bit of money on FIFA if in your life it makes sense to. Just like running a regular road to glory without spending money. If you're spending twelve hours a day and you're an adult or you and you have kids and shit like that, like that's obviously fucked up too, right? I think people yeah, exactly, just, yeah. yeah, people just go like off on a tangent about spending money on the game, but time is money, Nepenthes. Not that it's an exact science, but if I said to any viewer that you're talking to about this, if I said for every £10 you spend on FIFA points, you get £50 back from YouTube, you'd be like, well, I'll just keep spending then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or for every hour you spend, at least on the game, you get whatever, 50 or £100 back on YouTube. For us... Pound, damn, son, what kind of videos you put up? I mean, dude, two hour long Road to Glory videos. They monetize like crazy, dude. At least at the start of the game. Oh, great. All right, well, I don't know if we achieved what I was trying to achieve here, but are we playing video games or what are we doing? Yeah. Okay, come, come, come. I've been games in arenas getting about three kills combined, but yeah. I don't care. Um. All right, well, hopefully that discussion was helpful to someone. Um. I probably am not going to edit that up. So you're just going to get a, what, 15 minute or 10 minute or 20 minute talk about, you know, playing video games and balancing your life. But I do, ha I do hope that that's uh, something that helps you guys out. And especially with the, with the, with FIFA 20 on the horizon, right? We want to all enjoy it. We want to all grind it. Our favorite game is getting close to being released, dudes. Getting very, very, very close to being released. So... God bless you guys.